everybody, and welcome to another episode of Edible Software, uh, the Extra Modules Edition. Uh, today, what we are going to talk about specifically is the live sales app. So, in a previous video, we have talked about our offline sales app, uh, which is used to create sales orders and then uh, submit them to the system, very much like an online uh, order. Uh, however, today we're going to be talking about the live sales app, which is used primarily in a retail environment. Uh, or for those who are just selling at the moment of uh, creating the order. Uh, so this app will actually allow you to create the order, will allow you to allocate and pick items uh, at that moment, and then submit it back to the system, as well as print uh, a receipt to a receipt printer. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, of course, uh, as always, I will start on our login screen uh, with my username, my password, and whatever my API uh, URL is. I'll go ahead and tap login. It'll take just a second to load up. Okay. So from here, what I'm going to do is jump to the menu. Uh, and for those of you who only have live sales, you don't have to worry about this part. But for me, uh, I'll come into live sales and I will tap on orders. And to start a new order, very similar to our offline sales option, we're going to go ahead and tap the plus sign down at the bottom right. And we're going to go ahead and find our customer. And tap that customer. And then, it, unlike the uh, offline sales orders that brings us directly into the header page, we are brought directly into the line page. So again, this app is geared more towards those who are creating orders on the fly, so we want to try and make things as expedient as possible. So it takes us directly into the lines uh, tab, so we can go ahead and tap that plus sign again and start selecting our items. So selecting the items is exactly the same, uh, although the, ma the only major difference, as you can see, is that instead of defaulting to standard items, it is actually defaulting to all items. So that's one of the only differences uh, right now. Other than that, everything is the same. You can uh, search and uh, try and find an item uh, by typing in or scrolling, uh, or you can scan an item if the scan mode is enabled. So here I'm going to go ahead and scan an item. So I'll go ahead and scan this item. So here, as you can see, I've scanned this item. However, I have scanned an invalid lot for this item. It still picks up the item, but if my lot does not exist in this warehouse, then I will not be able to uh, pick it. So I'm actually glad that popped up. Now, of course, I can always manually select lot numbers if that is the case. So let me go ahead and see if I can't find another lot number or another item to work with. One second. Oh, invalid lot there as well. There we go. So here I've got a lot number. So here, let me just go ahead and change that. And I'll show you what it looks like when we scan a valid GS1 barcode with a valid lot. So here, let me go ahead and pull that. Now, of course, if we scan the G10, it would basically work the same way just without the invalid lot number message. It would just select the item, bring us in there without a lot number selected. Uh, so it would be just like we tapped on the item. But here I wanted to show you what it looks like uh, when we bring in the item uh, with a valid lot number. So it selects the item, uh, pops in a quantity of one by default, and pops in uh, the lot number. Now from here, we can continue to scan this barcode to increment. Uh, we can also change the unit of measure, much like we can do on the offline sales. Uh, so here if I wanted to just continually scan that barcode, you can see my quantity updating. And then down here, before we actually save, I'll go ahead and enter in a unit price. So the pricing, unlike the offline sales, currently uh, the unit, the price is not being brought through to the live sales. So this is setting up prices on demand. And so when I save, I've got two options. I can save and increment, or save and stay on the screen. So that's the save and plus option. So if I'm picking from multiple lots, maybe I'm actually pulling 10 cases, and I'm pulling uh, the remainder from a different lot. 
So I can just save and plus to stay on the screen. Or if I'm done with this item, I can go ahead and just save and back. And that will go ahead and uh, reserve those allocations. And I can go ahead and move on to the next item. So let me go ahead and pull up another item really quick. All right, so there I just scanned another barcode. And I've got the lot selected. So here I'm just going to go ahead and scan that item again. So I'll increment. You always have the ability to enter in the quantity. Uh, the only thing that you're not seeing right here, and I apologize, you didn't see uh, when I was in the when I was in the item selection screen or even the customer selection screen is when you enter in uh, that select field. When you tap in that select field, your keyboard, your native keyboard will come up allowing you to enter in the amounts or the letters that you need. Uh, so this is me just on a computer on an emulator. So uh, don't freak out. You do have a keyboard that you can work with. Uh, from there, I'll, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put in a price. A price is mandatory at the moment. Uh, we do require a price in order to save this, in order to be able to sync this item allocation to the system. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I can choose from a different lot so that I can do that. So here, you'll see I actually have a quantity of six. So I just backed all the way out to my line screen just to show you that my how my order is being built up. If there's any issue with an item, uh, if I wanted to delete it, if the customer that I'm walking with says, you know what, forget that item, I don't need it, I can go ahead and swipe that item to the left and delete it. Now, if there's anything else uh, needing to change, you don't need to delete the item, but you just need to update it, then I can tap on that item and I can continue to add quantity. I can change the lots if I need to, uh, or I can change the price. So if I just needed to change the price, then all I would have to do is change that price and hit back. And that will update the entire uh, unit price for the line. Uh, I did mention allocations, though. If I needed to pick from a different lot, so let's say those last two for the green olive, I needed to pick from a different lot. All I have to do is tap on that item, come in here, and come to this allocations tab down at the bottom. And this allows me to see the individual allocations that I've made so far. So if I needed to change this, all I have to do is swipe that allocation to the left, delete it, and then come back to details, enter in my amount, and choose the lot that I actually need to. So I clicked this one really quickly. It was actually supposed to be this one. So save and back. And now I'm back to where I need to be. So just continue to add items as needed. Uh, you can change the header information if you need to. Uh, a lot of the same information, entering in a PO number, entering in notes. Um, however, some of the information, again, because this is a live sales app, uh, the method is going to be pickup. Uh, so that can't be changed. The date is set to today's date. Uh, this app was created with the idea in mind that this uh, order is being created right then and there. So you can update these things, but a lot of the features you saw in the offline sales app are probably going to be grayed out. Another thing that we can have is uh, entering in a signature. Now, of course, uh, with this emulation, it's a little bit more difficult for me, but here I can put in a very bad signature and I can go ahead and save this. So this uh, will print out on the receipt once I have actually synced this order and printed the receipt, I can see that signature on there. And of course, just like the offline sales, we do have the totals area where we can see the total of our invoice before we actually submit this. So right now I have these reservations actually hitting uh, Edible Software. So I already have uh, these three lots that I've allocated to and no one else can pick up from these. Uh, if even if they're working in the system or working on another uh, device in the sales app, they cannot uh, pick up from these lots. I have reserved these for myself. However, I do not have a sales order created yet. The sales order won't be created until I actually sync to the system. 
So again, there's two different ways you can do that. If you're working on multiple orders during the day, you can mark this as open. Again, for a live sales uh, environment, it's not uh, that's less useful uh, really than an offline sales environment. So more than likely what you're going to do is after you are completely done, you just back out into the open sales screen, swipe that draft to the left, and you can hit sync. Now, of course, if you need to just completely abandon uh, the order, then you can click delete. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and sync this back to the system. So here, I have it uh, marked as synced, and I can see it in the system as well. If I jump into the sales order screen and look at my list of invoices, no need to go to the online orders. It is right here, and it has already been created. And so from here, it is just a normal sales order. If there's any changes that need to be made, they will need to be made in the system. However, what you can do from here, now I won't be able to uh, show you this um, because this is an emulator, but if I swipe to the left, I do have a print option. So right now, this is primarily for Bluetooth receipt printers. Uh, it allows you to print out a receipt, of course, itemizing the order uh, and everything like that, and of course, showing you the showing you the uh, invoice number and the signature, uh, if there was one. Uh, what I also wanted to show you is you can tap on that order again, and you can review it. Uh, you just can't change any information. But here, we can see an invoice number has been generated. So now, we pulled back that invoice number from the system. All right. So from there, you would just go ahead and uh, tap that plus sign again, and continue on creating more orders. Uh, I hope you uh, guys learned something today. If you have any questions, please give us a call and we'll be happy to demo this for you or train you on this a little bit further if need be. Uh, otherwise, these apps are changing a little bit every now and then. We're adding some new features, so uh, always be on the lookout for those. Uh, we're going ahead and making these as best as we can. Uh, thank you again, and I hope you guys have a great day.